Hey guys, today is Tuesday morning, November 30th. I'm getting started feeding cows right now. Go ahead and throw some uh, commodities in the mixer. Cows like their corn flakes in the morning. This is corn that's been rolled, went through a heater, called toasted corn. We give it to the cows, they supply the milk. I oftentimes get comments saying, oh, we need more light out here. You can hardly see anything. Well, when I'm inside the cab, I can see just fine. Generally, it's dark out, but got my lights on the skid loader. We're good. To scoop a halage out of the bag. I try to get a nice full scoop so I only have to make one trip. We are just now hitting a thousand hours on the skid loader. Gonna need to do a full service on this unit very soon. Gotta go get some filters. Now we'll head out to the bunker silo. Mineral dumped in, we're putting halage and triticale in now. Almost ready to go to the bunker. So I got the heifer batch mixed up to finish out. Dad's gonna run that out. I'm gonna bed up this barn. He has all the gates opened up. So we do that every Tuesday morning. This is the heifer batch. It's about a quarter of the weight of the main cow batch. The heifers are eating more than they used to when we had them in this old barn. I went and had some breakfast and it's snowing out here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's flurrying a little bit. So right now the manure hauling company is at our heifer farm. We have a neighbor that buys that manure from us out of that lagoon pit. I might just go down there and check that out, see what's going on over there. And then I think after that, they're gonna come up and we'll pump out of our heifer barn. Let's drive down the road and see what's up. We keep our pregnant heifers at this farm. We used to keep our breeding age here as well and they would stay in this building. But uh, we have this closed off now. We're not running any animals in here. So the pregnant heifers are just staying in that building there, coming out here to eat. 
Uh, we scrape all the manure down into the, the pit, the pipe that goes underground to the lagoon outside. Towing about three quarters of a mile down the road to a neighbor. He wants me to get a little wood shavings. There's a little manure spill and it's making a mess. I spread a scoop of shavings out. I guess he thought he had it on agitate mode while he left with a load and it was still leaking a little bit out. This pit gets a lot of rainwater in it, so it's uh, not the thickest, probably the highest quality manure, but there's some value there. They just brought a pump over. They're gonna start stirring this pit off. As soon as they're done spreading out of the other pit, they'll come haul out of this one. We tried this about a month ago and it didn't work, but confident it's gonna work this time because we got that curb taken away. We're gonna have to get this gate out of here right now. Dad's on his way, he's gonna help me. Gonna start stirring it up. It's a little more solids at this end because we're scraping some in out of the other barn. We also get a lot of rainwater, so hopefully it'll stir up pretty easily. So unfortunately, it's just a little too thick. He couldn't quite get it to stir up, so I guess he's gonna try the other end. And we'll probably get the whole little bit of liquid from another pit. We'll have to change this water spout here to send the water into the pit. That'll help next time. He's stirring that end and it's stirring up no problem. The whole way up, three quarters of the way up the barn. It's not that there's not enough liquid, it's just not at the right spot. So if he can get it up this way pretty far, Hopefully we come back and stir it up. It's not moving down here, I guess. Yeah, that pump's a beast. There we go, look at that. It's pushing foam, but it's, I can't really tell if it's swirling liquid, but it's doing something. He's bringing the pump back to this end again. We're gonna try it. Seems softer. There we go. This is working out really good. We were thinking we were gonna need more liquid, but we don't. Key is to start agitating here. We'll liquid down as far as we can and then go to the other end and stir that up. Then we're gonna come back and pump out of this end.
My dad went and got a new float for this one water trough. Brand new water trough. For whatever reason, this one will just let water in. I tried to caulk it up the one time, but it didn't work. Just got another one. They gave it to us. Just gonna throw this back in quick. Get started hauling now. Should be 10 to 15 load to get this empty, if not full. This pit holds about 150,000 gallons. It's only about two thirds full. This end of the pit's emptying out nicely. He's gonna move his pump up to the main barn. We're gonna get that pit completely empty then. That worked out really good. They got that completely cleared out, all liquefied. The main pit is split into three sections out there in the main barn. They're connected halfway up, so we're working at the bottom half of each. Middle one's done. The east one has a little bit, and the, the west one has the most. They got four spreaders running now. It won't take too long. The manure haulers are almost done. They're gonna finish up, get the pit completely empty, and we'll be done for the year with hauling. This was our first fall without having our own manure hauling equipment at all. And it was really nice. They were able to actually get the pit stirred up properly. Our old pump would have had trouble with that heifer barn pit. Uh, that It wouldn't have been able to mix the whole way to the far end like that. So there's just several advantages to getting guys in to do it for us. Also saves me a lot of hours of work and the risk of uh, breakdowns and incidents on the road with our questionable equipment. And yeah, it makes sense for us right now to not have our own spreader. We'll see about the future. Okay, see you guys in the next video.